Hello everybody, uh, Uber Dante here, and today I'd like to show off my uh, nine card logic puzzle card, logic card. And uh, this is an entry in Board Game Geeks 2024 nine card uh, game design contest. It's a puzzle, and I have it uh, set up here. It is nine cards, uh, labeled one to nine, and uh, each card has an active side and an inactive side. So at the start of the game, uh, you put all the cards on their inactive side, which has the uh, black number and no words on the side. And uh, you shuffle them up. You'll uh, choose one at random, uh, flip that over to the active side, shuffle them again, and then uh, lay them out in this 3x3 three three grid. And the way the game works is uh, each turn, you'll have one operator card which is an active card, and you'll need to follow uh, the instructions on the card. So at the start of the game, the one flipped over card is the operator, and uh, it says flip over any one orthogonally adjacent card. Um, so you'll perform that action, and then you'll uh, look for, uh, check for what the next operator uh, will be. Uh, so I'm just going to go through a game and you'll see how it works. So at the start of the game I have this uh, 8. I flip over one of these uh, four cards. So let's go ahead and flip over this uh, one. And there's some hint as to uh, what's behind the card and uh, you can learn what each card is very quickly. So one also has the same uh, uh, icons but it's a slightly different card. So I flip it over. This one says flip over all orthogonally adjacent cards. Now, uh, I said uh, after your turn you're going to check for the next operator. So if on your turn you flipped over uh, just you flipped over one card to its active uh, side, then you that new active card will be the new operator. So uh, for my next turn I need to perform the action here. And this is flip over all orthogonally adjacent cards. So I'm going to flip over. I don't know, I have a choice this time. I'm going to flip over this 3. I'm going to flip over the 8. I'm going to flip it back to its inactive side. And then I'm going to flip over this 5. Now this turn I flipped over uh, two cards to their active side. So in this case, to find the next operator, you'll just take the highest of those cards. So I flipped over 2. Um, 5 is the highest. So this is the new operator. I can ignore what's written on the 3. And so 5 says to flip over any one cross card. So a cross card is uh, any of these cards that are not the corner that form a cross in the middle of the grid. I can flip over any one of these. Uh, let's go ahead and <coughs> well let's flip over this one. Okay, So I don't have to flip it to the active side. I can flip one over to the inactive side. On this turn uh, no cards were flipped over to their active side. So in this case, uh, I would uh, 5 was the current one. I would take the next highest card and that's active, and that would be the new operator. So uh, 6, 7, 8, 9. I would look at uh, one of those cards. However, all of those cards, any card higher, uh, is not active. So there are no active cards that are higher than the 5. In that case, the 5 remains as uh, the operator. So I can use this action one more time. So I'm going to flip over one cross card. Uh, this time I'll flip over this four. Okay, I flipped it to its active side. That means it's now the operator. And this one says flip over all cross cards. Okay, and that includes this four because the four is in the cross. So I'll flip over all five of those. of those cards, the highest one is the 9, so the 9 becomes the new operator. This says to flip over any corner card. I can flip over the 7, the 3, the 5, or the 6. Hmm. Well, let's look at the 6. The 6 is an interesting card. Um, 6 says to swap this card with any other card, and then flip over any one card that's not been swapped. So I could uh, you know, sw switch, switch the 9 and the 6 uh, but then I cannot fli also flip that card, either of those cards. So what do I want to do? Uh, um, ideally, I like to flip these two cards, but uh, okay. 
let's just hmm. okay yeah I think this will work let's just flip the let's just flip the six and the nine because I don't know what I'm doing and then I'm gonna flip this I can choose any card the seven hasn't been swapped so on that turn so I can flip that and it says flip over any one diagonally adjacent card uh, the only choice is this eight so I'm flipping that down um, so the next operator will be any card that's active card that's higher than the seven in this case it would be the nine so now I can flip over any one corner card well, let's see I think I can solve this so I'm going to flip over the seven which is a corner card it's inactive the nine is the highest card there's no higher card than that so this remains the operator and I can flip over any corner card again I can flip the seven back now the seven is the operator because I flipped it to its active side I can flip over any one diagonally adjacent card it's the eight eight becomes the operator I can flip over any one orthogonally adjacent card I can flip over the four and I've solved the puzzle um, there are over three million different setups uh, for this game so each game is a little bit different um, but they contain the same cards so you're doing kind of the same kind of uh, actions um, and I didn't go through uh, this one card the three which is an unusual card so um, I'll just show you how that one works so let's say we had something like this and I'd flipped over the three um, so this one says without flipping the cards you shuffle and deal again so this kind of brings some um, unpredictability to the game so you just shuffle everything up you keep the cards flipped in the same way so be careful when you shuffle that you're not flipping them over um, and then you do something like this and then you can flip over any uh, corner card to end the turn I can do something like that and flip that over um, so that's all you need to know to play logic card there is one uh, advanced version which is uh, you don't get all the cards flipped over but you also have them uh, in order like one two three four five six seven eight nine um, that's a more challenging puzzle and uh, but I hope you give it a try all the rules are on one page um, if you do try it uh, let me know what you think thanks for watching bye